So hi everybody, we're in Jinshan Park today on a glorious Beijing day and uh, we've got the wonderful Patrick with us. Hey! So I'm going to ask you a few questions if that's okay with you. Absolutely. Fantastic. So where are you from and what led you to come to China? Okay, I'm Patrick, I'm from Germany and what, what has led me to China was that four and a half years ago I studied my bachelor's degree in Germany where I also took Chinese classes for the first time. So after studying the language for two years, I was finally able to do an exchange semester in Shanghai. So that was my first China experience. And after graduation, I was looking for a job in China, especially in the uh, education industry. So luckily, Hutong School offered me an internship in Beijing. I, of course, I accepted it and this was the best decision of my life, I have to say now. And because now after four months, they gave me a full-time employment in Beijing. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> so what is it now you do in Hutong School? Now I'm the marketing coordinator in Beijing and I have mainly two big tasks. The first task is to manage the WeChat account of Hutong School where I do a lot of online marketing and WeChat is the most important app in China. My second big task is to expand and to maintain our network of partners in Beijing. Our partners are embassies, chambers of commerce, international companies because we teach their staff they send people to us we send teachers to their companies and i constantly try to expand this network of partners okay fantastic thank you so when you're not at work what do you like to do in beijing that's easy i'm a big fan of the beijing nightlife it's absolutely fantastic because there's something for anybody if you prefer a crazy electronic music festival right on the great wall you can do that if you want to go to a really crazy punk rock uh, concert, you can do that. But also if you just want to have a little cozy evening in a live music uh, bar, you can do that. There's something for everybody. It's great. Yeah, definitely. I agree. I also like the nightlife here. It's, yeah. bad. it's really good. But, uh, okay, so we're standing in quite an iconic location right now. Absolutely. Um, maybe you could talk us through what's behind you. So behind me, you can see the famous Forbidden City probably after the Great Wall, the most uh, famous site in Beijing. So right now we are on top of the Jing Mountain, Jingshan, and this is probably the best spot to capture the entire city with a brilliant photograph. It's, it's one of the best places here. Great, and can you show us whereabouts your apartment is in the Forbidden City? It's not there. <laughs> well, but Hutong School is not far away, it's just a couple of kilometers west. <laughs> Fantastic. So out of all the other incredible sites in Beijing, what would you say is your personal favorite? My personal favorite uh, would be the Summer Palace. The Summer Palace is a bit outside the center, but what I like about it is because it's vast. There's a massive lake over there where you can rent, rent pedal boats, for example, and you can just go for a hike if you want. There's tons of like ancient temples, uh, forests. It's just a vast area where you can spend an entire weekend if you wish. It's great. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much for your time today and uh, we'll see you again soon. Thank you. Zaijian.